Hi team. The goal of this video series is to introduce Microsoft Excel in the context of financial models, and to do this as expeditiously as possible. You will still learn all my favorite Excel tricks and formulas, but the objective of the first few videos is to get you comfortable very quickly. Because the thing is that you do not need hours of instruction to get started. What you need to know is how to navigate without a mouse, because it will save you an incredible amount of time. But this is pretty simple and largely requires the control shift and arrow keys. We expand on this substantially in the video titled Navigation. In other words, you can actually build a three statement model in its entirety with no more than four Excel functions. And all of them do basically precisely what they sound like. Let's scroll through a three statement model so you can visualize this for yourself. So here we have a fully functional and dynamic three statement model. We can press Control tilde to see the formulas driving the model. And first, if you are looking left to right, you will see references to different worksheets. This notation indicates that the cell pulls from cell B7 on the worksheet titled Income Statement. And then there are a bunch of arithmetic operators, but it's all pretty simple. As it relates to functions, we have equal average, which returns the average of the values selected, equal sum, which returns the sum of the values selected, equal max, which returns the largest value selected, and finally equal if, which returns one of two provided inputs based on a logical test. Initially, we will use this when there's an error in the model. The most common error starting out relates to circular references, which we'll explain later. But to demonstrate how easy it can be to fix, if your model breaks, all you have to do is use the equal if function to fix it. Otherwise, we will spend time on the following. Starting with vocabulary, this series will walk you through all of the items you can see here and explain how everything functions together. Next, we'll move on to formatting and formulas, like using Control-1 to access all formatting options. And we'll show you cool ways to use text values in cells as one cool example. Pick a cell with a numerical value, press Control-1, then select Custom, and input the text you want in quotes. This is a useful trick when you want to provide information but still have the ability to use the value in that cell in a formula. We'll also include plenty of formatting shortcuts. And after that, the series will cover the best ways to use the ribbon. Anytime you forget something, you can use the Alt key to engage the ribbon without reaching for your mouse. But in case you're committed to memorizing these shortcuts, we once again have PDFs you can download and pages you can bookmark with all of the required shortcuts listed. This series also covers essential date functions, which will save you a lot of time. Date functions allow you to only ever have to input one date. And you can also use these date functions to count the time that has elapsed between dates. And of course, we will include plenty of detail on lookup functions, including index and match, etc. And finally, on top of that, I'll introduce all of my favorite Excel tricks and functions, especially those that save me a considerable amount of time over the course of my career. For example, the best time-saving shortcut I know as it relates to formatting requires that 5 key. Here's a very quick video explanation. We're going to run through this exercise very quickly. Let's assume you receive a financial model with no proper formatting. The question becomes, how to identify all inputs and apply the proper formatting? Fortunately, Excel has a great trick for this. Select the array, press F5, select Special, Constants, and OK. Excel will automatically highlight all inputs so that you can then go to Home, apply the appropriate fill color, and the appropriate text color. And that's it. Or for one last example of many that will be provided, the F9 key can also be super useful when you're working through a complex formula. By highlighting a portion of a formula and pressing F9, you can see what that portion of the formula is calculating. There's a lot you can do in Excel, and we will work through everything necessary to build a career that requires a financial modeling skill set expeditiously to get you started. And once you move on from this video series, the remaining video series will also provide plenty of reminders for these functions and formulas. It's all included in the instructional videos themselves. Lastly, if you would like to dive into some more advanced content, please feel free to check out the links provided just beneath this video player. Most of the content can also be found on a Simple Models YouTube channel. So feel free to go ahead and get started. All right, guys, it's all for now.